All right. Hope you all rocked your tests. All right. Happy weekend, but we got some work to do. Now, I'm going to title this Canceling Stuff. Now, that's not the formal name. We'll get more into what this chapter means and where it's going as we go along, but pretty much that's the focus of today. We're going to find out how to cancel some stuff and simplify these functions, these expressions today. All right. So, let's just talk about, let's say I have 22 over 33. We all know we wouldn't leave our answer like that. We would put it in simplest form, which would be two-thirds. Well, think about how we do that. 2 times 11, and this would be 3 times 11. In a sense, the 11s cancel, and I'm left with two-thirds. Right? Although we do that in our head, that's kind of the math behind it. That's what's happening. Well, now we're going to do that with quadratics and cubics and all that other good stuff. So let's look at number one here. And... We, we can't let factoring go. It's going to haunt us the rest of our mathematical lives. It's going to be with us all the time. So you got to know what's up. So looking at this first one, we have a trinomial. So it's either old school or Batman. So I need two numbers that multiply to negative 6 and add to negative 5. So that gives me x minus 6, x plus 1. All right. On the bottom here, it's a binomial. So we know it's a difference of two squares. A difference of cubes or a sum of cubes. In this case, it's a difference of cubes. So I have x minus 1, x plus 1. All right. Now, if you notice, x plus 1 is the same on top and bottom. Think of if I told you x had a value of 2. Well, 2 plus 1 would be 3. 2 plus 1 would be 3. And I'd have a similar situation that we had up here. So those are gone. And my solution I'm left with is x minus 6 over x minus 1. Now, these are grouped together. We can't just cross out the x's. That's not allowed. Because think about it. If x was 2, 2 minus 6 would result in negative 4. And 2 minus 1 would result in 1. So those are two different values. So that's my solution I'm looking for. All right. So that's kind of the easy example. Now let's go to a more difficult one. And by difficult, by no means is it hard with all the practice we've had. It's just a little more involved, I would say. So let's look at this first one. I have 3x minus 27x cubed. First thing I always look for is a GCF. So my GCF is 3x and I'm left with 1 minus 9x squared. Now looking at what's left in parentheses, that's a difference of two squares. I know it's flipped, so it's not accustomed to what you're used to. But I'm left with 3x here and then 1 plus 3x, 1 minus 3x. All right. You could even write it where it's more comfortable to you. 3x plus 1, 3x minus 1. Either way, we're expressing the same thing. All right? So that's the numerator. Now let's take a look at the denominator. So let's say I want to factor. Let's use a different color to kind of separate. Let's use green. So I want to factor this. Let's go down here and do the work. So 3x squared minus 2x minus 1. All right. It's a trinomial. I can't use old school because I have a lead coefficient other than 1, so I have to resort to Batman. So I get negative 3x squared, two numbers that multiply negative 3, and add to negative 2 is minus 3x plus 1x. Bring down your first and last terms. Then we GCF. So uh, 3x, I have x minus 1. Here I have a 1, so I have x minus 1. Combine your first and last terms to get 3x plus 1 and x minus 1. So my numerator is 3x plus 1, x minus 1. You probably already kind of see this happening here. Now let's go to the other side. So we're multiplying this by another fraction. So let's take 3x squared minus 4x plus 1 and go up here. Again, I have another trinomial, but I can't use old school, so I have to resort to Batman. It's two numbers that multiply to 3 and add to negative 4. Minus 3x minus 1x plus 1, 3x squared. GCF gives me 3x 
x minus 1. Over here I'm pulling out a negative 1, x minus 1, because negative and negative give me a positive. So I have 3x minus 1, and x minus 1 matches. 3x minus 1, x minus 1 matches. All right, and then I have, don't forget about this 3x down here. I have 3x here. Now, think about when you're multiplying fractions. If I have like 2 thirds times 3 fourths, I multiply straight across. 2 and 3 give me 6. 3 and 4 give me 12. We go on to there to reduce. Now, same thing's happening here. All right, the same laws apply. So I'm multiplying straight across, straight across. So really, it's one big fraction bar. So looking at this, well, who's the same? x minus 1, x minus 1, 3x plus 1, 3x plus 1, and 3x and 3x. So in the numerator on top leaves me with 3x minus 1, 3x minus 1. So my final solution is, let's write that in simplest terms, 3x minus 1 squared. Alright, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to factor and see what happens. Now, Number three, you can, I'm gonna, you can either pause it and do it now, or you can listen to my instruction on the next one and then go back and do it later. So you make that choice now. Pause it, get it done on your own. If not, wait till I'm done with the next problem, then do it. However, I will be checking to see that it's complete tomorrow. All right, make the call now. Go. Okay, I'm moving on. If you didn't hit pause, you're still with me. Now looking at the next one, notice the difference here. Before we had multiply, multiply, multiply. Now we're talking dividing. Now I'm going to make a statement here that you're going to hear me say a bunch. Dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Let me show you what I mean. 16 divided by 4. We all know the answer is 4. That is equivalent to 16 times 1 fourth. All right, think of it. 16 times 1 fourth still gives me 4. Think of it if you have a dollar. A dollar divided into 4 is 25. A dollar times a fourth is a quarter, still 0.25. Okay? So dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. Dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. So that's what we're going to do in these problems. So 3 over 4x minus 8. I'm going to change the division to multiplication, and I'm going to flip the other sign. I'm sorry, not flip the sign, flip the fraction. So x squared plus x minus 6 over x squared plus 3x. So I flip my numerator and denominator, change my division to multiplication. Multiplying, dividing by numbers is the same as multiplying by the reciprocal. All right, now all we do is what we did up above. Uh, 3 can't be factored. 4x minus 8. Well, the GCF is 4, so I'm left with x minus 2. Now let's go over here. Two numbers that multiply negative 6 and add to 1. Well, that gives me x minus 3, x plus 2. Nope, x plus 3, x minus 2, right? x squared plus 3x minus 2x minus 6. Perfect. All over here, well, the first thing I look for is a GCF, so I'm left with x plus 3. All right, let's take a look here. x minus 2, x minus 2, x plus 3, x plus 3. Again, we view it as one giant fraction, so my numerator, I'm left with 3. My denominator is 4 times x, so I'm left with 4x. All right, so that's what the canceling stuff looks like. Now, also on top of number four, I want you to do five and six. So not only did you have to watch this nine minute and 30 second video, you have to have three problems complete. I will be checking on Monday. We'll be going over our tests and looking at this and taking any questions you got. So be ready to go. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.